from bare hook to netted trout. Fly fishing is a process. The process starts with a vision of a netted trout, the excitement of a tight line, and the tug of the fish. We work back from that ultimate moment to the pieces, the steps required to get there. There is, of course, the part of the process that locates the fish. The miles of hiking, the barbed wire punctured waders, the scrapes and scratches that come from finding a spot. The drive down secret trails to which the word road barely applies. This is the part of the process that gets us there. In my mind, the most important part is the moment of inspiration that comes after hours at the vise, staring at a bare hook, trying to think like a hungry trout. Whether it's a tiny nymph, hairy dry, or giant streamer, the creative thoughts churn in your mind as the thread coats the hook. Materials jump off the wall and attach themselves in just the right places, looking like a carapace, legs, eyes, tails. You envision the piece of water, the surroundings, and you can see your fly as it travels along. Your heart jumps as you imagine that big trout coming out from its holding spot to look at your fly. Its maw opens, and the line gets tight as it turns away with its prize. Your eyes widen as you raise your rod and see the bend formed by the weight of your quarry. Your adrenaline rushes as you feel the head shakes and the trout flies out of the water in its attempt to shake loose of your carefully crafted fly. Your reel whirs as the line strips off and you quickly try to gain ground back by cranking against the pole. Eventually, the moment comes where you look down triumphantly at your quarry pulling your fly gently from its jaws, and you get that feeling of satisfaction that something you created has brought you to this moment. As the trout swims away, you take the fly between your fingers and remember the process, the care, the thought that brought you here. And it is in this moment that you know the joy of time spent at the vise and the connection the process provides.